गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट्स अगेन टॉपिक वी हैव लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेल्व के साथ फिर एक बार मैं कमलेश ठक्कर आपके साथ हूँ नाउ टूडेज आवर टॉपिक इज पावर स्पेक्टर डेंसिटी ऑफ द क्वाड्रेचर कॉम्पोनेंट हाउ कैन वी डिटरमाइन द क्वाड्रेचर कॉम्पोनेंट एंड वॉट इज द पावर स्पेक्टर ऑफ डेंसिटी ऑफ द क्वाड्रेचर कॉम्पोनेंट हेयर वी विल सी सो फर्स्ट स्लाइड इज हेयर so what is the actually power spectral density introduction portion here we see to determine the power uh, power spectral density first we have to determine the nct and nst so some assumptions are here you can see here uh, we take the spectral component small k is equal to k plus lambda and small k is equal to k minus lambda where k is equal to k in corresponding frequency is f not plus lambda del uh, delta f and f not minus lambda delta f this was some uh, uh, already uh, uh, we already study in previous classes uh, so assumptions uh, here we see first uh, the diagram uh, figure uh, upper side figure is figure 1a uh, a two frequency give us uh, four spectral line in a band side if you see um, this portion um, uh, i think the first portion like uh, here mm. uh, the first portion is here uh, uh, first portion in first portion you can see easily that uh, uh, the two spectral line two spectral line is a uh, what one is the uh, f not minus delta f not and the second is the f not plus delta f not and in left side minus f not plus delta lambda delta uh, f and uh, minus f not minus lambda delta f so this is the frequency spectrum of uh, the nt the power of nt that means g and f uh, now uh, about the second figure 1b second figure we will discuss uh, further now uh, we uh, uh, come to uh, come to reach in uh, mathematical some mathematical portions or mathematical derivation of phd uh, of uh, quadrature component okay so what is the mathematical derivation we know the equation nct from previous a k cos 2 pi k minus k delta f t plus b k sin 2 pi k minus k delta f t here n c t is equal to delta n c t corresponding to the frequency f not plus delta lambda delta f f not minus lambda delta so reduce the equation number for first in the corresponding frequency then we have a k minus lambda in b k minus lambda and a k plus lambda in b k plus lambda this is the suppose the equation number 2 is here so it is clear from the uh, term have a same frequency lambda del f so this term is uh, very important point is this terms represent the uncorrelated random process the uncorrelated random process so we know this is stationary delta nc is a stationary random process so from previous lecture we know at t equal to t1 cosine term is 1 but sine term will be 0 so if cosine term is 1 and sine term will be 0 then uh, equation number 2 uh, will reduce uh, in this form in equation number 3 delta nc of t is equal to ak minus lambda plus ak plus lambda because there are no any sine term but uh, cos term is present but cosine is equal to 1 so only coefficient of cosine is present in equation number 3 now we know the uh, formula for the uh, power is equal to p lambda equal to e delta nc t whole square so substitute the value of delta and uh, and ct from equation number 3 we have the value of p lambda now what now we know the coefficient previous lecture we coefficient of uh, uh, if you remember that al bl al al ak bl bk uh, all our coefficient is will be zero then here ak minus 1 and ak plus ak minus lambda and ak plus lambda is equal to 0 then we get only p lambda equal to a square plus b square then 2ab portion will be here remove okay so now what now we know the p lambda is equal to actually p lambda is equal to in the power form 2g and lambda del f the delta f so reduce in the form of k in equation number 4 but here we reduce in the form of the k is uh, uh, here we have to require the uh, and uh, phd of uh, c and s so g and c del lambda delta f equal to g and k minus k delta f delta f plus g and k plus k 
delta f of now in if we take in the continuous form then what will in continuous variable form lambda delta f is equal to f and k delta f equal to f naught substitute in equation number 5 then we get the equation number 6 another new equation then g n c f equal to g n f naught minus f plus g n f naught plus this is very important equation this equation same for g n s so this both equation shows the power spectral density of quadrature component so figure if we see the figure first so if in uh, we go for figure the uh, see here it is first two figures are first figure shows the power spectral density of gnf and the both side spectrum is mixed and uh, the second figure is shows the power spectral density one minute power spectral density of uh, uh, second figure shows the power spectral density of what uh, 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 see the second figure shows the um, uh, combined uh, GNCF and GNSF so GN uh, first figure shows the uh, spectrum of GNF and second figure shows the spectrum of GNCF and GNSF so it is clear now a uh, new thing is i think um, uh, this is the uh, one type of presentation but uh, uh, students require some lecture uh, some notes uh, and uh, to write uh, and after uh, notes uh, see easily read and uh, clear the exam and get uh, uh, good marks so i here share the notes also this is the notes of these presentations uh, they can print or they can uh, read it by zooming so thank you very much students and uh, i hope कि आप सभी घर में ही होंगे कोविड 19 है तो आप लोगों को अगर कोई डाउट्स होगा तो आप बिल्कुल मुझे मेरे व्हाट्सएप नंबर पे कमेंट्स कीजिए और कोड कीजिए और क्वेश्चंस पूछिए घर पर रहें सेफ रहें और जो भी डाउट्स हो उसे क्लियर करें थैंक यू